it's Tanira and I'm here again with a weekly sketch inspiration and this time Lauren Wagner did the sketch and I am using the April kits and they're really lovely. Just showing the photograph, it's of my daughter at a netball match and I will tell you the story a bit later but first what I wanted to show you is that I am going through the papers trying to decide which ones I want and I chose I chose a couple specifically for the colours because of the bib that my daughter is wearing. It's got quite a tealy colour, so I figured I would, I would, you know, concentrate on those. And then I kind of changed my mind and get a couple of others out. But I thought that seeing as she did so well in the netball match, that I could use one of those rosettes. And I duly fussy cut it out. And I must apologise. I'm going to apologise right up front. That a little bit later the video is going to get very yellow yes as I have said over and over and over again I have an issue with the Sun so now hubby and I have tried something different we've tried blacking it out by putting a thing across the window the only problem with that is it's now put a yellow cast on my video so it's a work in progress so I apologize profusely and I, it, I'm hoping I can try and sort something out it's just oh it's a nightmare an ongoing nightmare so well, let's get back to the layout as you saw there I kind of changed up the papers from my original choice and I've gone with that background one I'm using is a Maggie Holmes one it's very beautiful and the other one is a Pink Free Studio which I am duly taking the inspiration of the sketch and putting it in a sort of wonky angle and cutting it out yeah, you see, it's that Maggie Holmes paper with the very pretty flowers on the side. So now I'm thinking, right, I've got this, I've got the, you see, yellow, yellow cast. I am so sorry. But we're just going to have to live with it with this video. And uh, yeah, what can I do? Not much I can do. Other than apologize and I hope you will forgive me. So I took my title as we got in... I think they're Pink Fresh Studio as well, the gold words, and it said the best, and then I got simply there, and I'm sure we all remember the Tina Turner song. I'm not going to sing it, because I can't sing, but, oh, yes, she is simply the best. And yes, we know, there was a bit of a boo-boo with these letters, and Kimberly is so, so sorry, and uh, because she left off she left off the P's and the Q's, <laughs> which is a bit of a problem. Well, it, it funny enough, it turned out to be a bit of a problem for me because I was going to go with quite simply the best. Yeah, yeah, that's a Q, isn't it? <laughs> so I couldn't do that, so I went with you are simply the best. And I don't know if you noticed there, but the, the backing that those letters came on was really really pretty because they are exclusives to the kit so I use that to match my photograph as well and now look what I'm doing I know I was putting clear gesso on because I wanted to use the crayons these are Vicky Booten's crayons and I was feeling very missy like when I did this because I'm now going to do some coloring on the background first of all I had the idea that I would just basically put like a border around my photograph and then I figured that was a little too pink so I put some of the orange on and I am dabbing it because I don't want the paper to crinkle too much so I'm trying to use not too much water even though I've got the gesso on there and you know just to dab it up because otherwise it does it does buckle the page and we don't want that so I'm thinking okay well I've got this and then I think no I need to put it more so then I decided to rub it onto a little plastic mat and get my water and just basically paint away like a rock star <laughs> the next thing I do is I actually thought was really quite quite clever because if you take the water and then you just you know rub on the crayon like that it splatters mm -hmm. yeah, nifty little trick that one and so now I'm thinking fine liking the color now I've got to find out where I'm going to put my title and it went through a few metamorphoses and I'm thinking about that and then I decided nope and I got it on this side and I liked the way it looked so I thought yep I've done it and I do s 
Ooh, pardon me. I did sew down my funky shaped uh, piece of paper and I sewed down the UR of the letters and then I felt my colouring was a little too bright. So I got out the white acrylic paint and I smeared white acrylic paint on and it kind of mimics the Maggie Holmes paper actually because that's also got some white sort of smearing on it. So, oh yes, I was being very artistic today. Every now and then these things pop into my head and I think, hmm, let me try. So so I do battle, and I did take a lot of it out, I did battle with the embellishing of this layout. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think it's because I didn't really have a clear idea in my head, and so I did struggle a little bit. But that's the way it goes with scrapbooking, doesn't it? So yes, I then figured, because that simply is very, very black, I figured I needed to bring more black onto the layout, which is why I took the those of Vicky Booten watercolour tags. I haven't watercoloured any of them yet. I've just used them like, you know, how they are, white with black. But I shall, I shall, I must still do that. And so I finally came up with this configuration on the right-hand side with a kind of embellishment cluster going on and using bits from oh the oasis pack that we got and the acetate tags that we got and oh i can't remember what else i used but you know i i mixed up my i mixed up my stuff and for the longest time i leave that acetate tag at the top left there thinking that i'm going to use it but then you'll see what happens when i change my mind and I brought out the buttons thinking I could use the buttons, but I didn't I didn't feel quite like the colours went. So out came these very cute My Mind's Eye puffy stickers and those colours went much better. And I had cut that well, it's like a tag thing. So I put some on the left as well, that's repetition going on there. And now I'm thinking I need I need some words. So I'm looking for some words and I find some very suitable ones which I can't remember for the life of me what they are. I think that one says the game. Oh, I haven't told you about the game. I've been waffling on about my layout and I haven't told you the story. Oh, what a non Tanya. It's actually hysterical. Well, I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> so Tamsin is a gold offence. And she does very, very well. But she has this thing that when she goes on, she like dances around the goalie. I mean, she literally dances in a in a, a sort of circular fashion and she sticks to the girl like glue. And I could see this girl was getting more and more frustrated and she kept looking, because her mum was um, video recording the whole thing, which I thought was even funnier. So she kept looking at her mum with this sort of rolling of the eyes and, and you know, what am I supposed to do? And Tamsin, Tamsin doesn't care. <laughs> so when the girl's like looking at her, her netball mates and saying, you know, well, what am I supposed to do? Tamsin's like waving it. <laughs> Waving at this girl's friends, you know, with a big smile on her face and still dancing around her. And yeah, I, I don't think the girl really appreciated that at all. But it did mean that she uh, got frustrated and therefore wasn't quite on her game. And that's not the reason why the team won. The reason why the team won, my, my daughter's team that is, is because they played really well. But I do think Tamsin's, it's called the Tamsin dance apparently. <laughs> Tamsin's dance put that poor girl off completely. Oh, it was just too funny. So yeah, a little proud mum moment there. But let's get back to the layout. So I cut out a, an arrow from the cut apart sheet that came in the Project Life kit. And then I added some words on that as well. And now I'm trying to just put a few things around. But to, oh, I did like the the little puffy circle that I got on, on top of the Simply. It's got little heart glasses. It's cute. I thought it was cute and it kind of brought in a bit of the colour. And I think I'm not going to do much more. Oh, I'm bringing in more words. Oh, I do do like my words. So I'm bringing in, uh, you know, when things stick to a photograph, they really stick, don't they? Very frustrating. So I'm going to decide where to put that. And then I'm going to put on a few more little elements and my page will be done. Oh, and you see when I was waffling on, I did remove the tag from the top left and I think it does look better that way. 
it was just too much you know it it wasn't a bad idea but i think concentrating most of the elements on the bottom half of the of the layout was a better idea and yes i brought out the wooden hearts and then decided to color them with those vicky Booten art crayons again in the yellow because i wanted to bring in a bit more color of a different color because it was a bit uh, kind of matchy matchy with the teal and the oranges so I brought in some more of the yellow and got to keep my space clean because <laughs> that's just who I am so I glue those down and then I think my final touches is bringing in a bit more of the black so there's that little star type thingy from the letter stickers and then I brought in the washi tape just to finish it off and I thought that that actually did give it quite a nice, quite a nice addition to the, you know, the design of the layout or the, yeah. It just, in my opinion, finished it off. Ooh, and then I brought in some sequins. I've been using a lot of the sequins. Okay, I've done two layouts, but you know, I've used sequins on both layouts, so, so that's quite a lot. So there we go. There's my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I apologize for the quality of the video, but we're forgetting about that. So please come join me in the Facebook forum and come and join us and you do your interpretation of the sketch. We'd love to see what you do. So take care now. Bye.